Dear students, I am Ahmadullah Choudhury. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to our online class. I think you are not neglecting your study during COVID-19 pandemic. So let's get started. Today's lesson is uh, Kalpana Chawla. Uh, Kalpana Chawla Unit 1, Lesson 3. She was an emerging woman. She uh, was born at Karnal uh, in the Horinal state of India. We can talk a lot about her. She is an inspiration to the young generation. Uh, she followed her dreams. She had lofty dreams. Uh, there was a, a flying club uh, near their residence. Uh, she, she often requested her father to take her there. So she got the first taste of flying at that flying club. Uh, we can divide her life into three stages. That stage, the first stage began at Karnal and she, she completed her education at Tagore Bal Niketan Secondary School. Uh, after completing uh, secondary school education, she went to Punjab Engineering College. There she faced some opposition from her family because she chose aeronautical engineering uh, for her study. At the time, girls did not like that subject, uh, so her parents opposed her, but she always uh, she always clung to her dreams and she insisted on studying the subject. And she completed her degree there. Uh, in her childhood, she was called Montu uh, by the members of her family. After completing her study at the Punjab University, uh, Punjab Engineering College, she went to the USA. Uh, there, the second stage of her life started. Uh, she obtained her master's degree uh, in aerospace engineering from the University of Texas in 1984. Uh, you know, uh, aerospace engineering uh, uh, just deals with uh, more than one branches, and one of the branches is uh, aeronautical engineering, which she studied at the Punjab Engineering College. Uh, she did her PhD uh, in aerospace engineering from uh, the University of Colorado in 1988. Uh, she joined NASA in 1988. Uh, she got the she was selected for Columbia Space Shuttle. Uh, it was mission STS-87. Uh, she and it lasted in a space for 15 days, 16 hours, 34 minutes, and four seconds. She successfully completed her mission there. Uh, so it was the first time uh, she uh, she was known to the whole world. Uh, after that, she got a chance, got a chance to fly a Columbia shuttle the second time. It was the mission uh, called STS-107 on 16 January 2003. She started her new mission. Uh, this mission was meant for 
scientific study. Uh, the space shuttle orbited the Earth many times, and scientific uh, experiments are going on in the space shuttle. Um, now, one thing happened that the astronauts are not aware of. There was an engineering fault in the space shuttle. Uh, after uh, 16 days, the space shuttle re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, uh, but it disintegrated over Texas 16 minutes before scheduled landing. It was a tragedy and the whole world was shocked. And uh, Kalpana Chawla lost her life uh, over Texas. Uh, she was called um, Casey by her American friends. Let us uh, see some of his big photographs. Uh, let us see. Kalpana Chawla, a great astronaut. Uh, this is uh, Columbia STS-87 mission, uh, Florida Space Center, uh, returned to Earth safely. So this was a successful mission. Uh, there was no problem with that. And this is what she said about the USA. She said, I was interested in aerospace and flying and the, U and the US is really the best place in the world for flying. So she uh, just commended the USA. Uh, this is her, this was her next mission. Columbia mission STS-107. Uh, it, it had made a disaster, uh, disastrous ending over Texas, you know, uh, what happened about Texas. Just 16 minutes before she did landing, the space shuttle uh, disintegrated and there was, it was none of our faults. And you can see the picture of disintegration. All the seven crew members died, uh, you know. And this is Kalpana Chawla, uh, poses for a photograph in her space suit. Uh, and these are two pictures of her childhood. You know, she was uh, called Montu in her childhood. And this is one of the, uh, one of our photographs with the American flag uh, taken in an unspecified location. Uh, and uh, so we can say that Kalpuna Chawla uh, was a brave, brave woman. She is an inspiration to the uh, women. She is an in inspiration to the new generation. She never uh, just gave up her dreams. She pursued her dreams and became successful. So uh, this great woman will never be forgotten by, by the people on this uh, planet. Uh, she will always be remembered. Uh, now, read this passage, and there is a task for you. This is your home task. Uh, read the following text and make a flowchart uh, showing uh, uh, Chawla's life. What is a flowchart? You know, flowchart in, in a flowchart, you have to give the points logically, and uh, you must not uh, just, uh, you must not uh, write. Uh, full sentences, you should write short, brief points to show the flow chart. Uh, first, read the passage, Taula, 17 March 1962, 1st February 2003, was born in Karnal, India. She completed her early schooling at Tagore Bal Niketan Senior Secondary School Colonel, she is the first Indian born woman and the second person in space from this subcontinent. After graduating in aeronautical engineering from Punjab Engineering College, India, 1982, Chawla uh, 
um, moved to the United States the same year. She obtained her master's degree in aerospace engineering from the University of Texas in 1984. Later, she did her PhD in aerospace engineering in 1988 from the University of Texas. So these are some facts of her life, and you'll have to give the other five points of her life here in uh, here, and uh, you should not give any point from our side. Suppose uh, Kalpana Chawla was a vegetarian. You should not mention it here. Uh, so uh, you will have to uh, do the home task and let us uh, do another thing that is, uh, let us see, uh, when, let us see, when you write a, just when you write a, a flow chart, you must uh, remember three things. One is uh, you, the points must be mentioned. Another is the connections should be logical. And the third one is uh, logical connections must be mentioned. The third one is you need not write the full sentences. So do the home task, read the passage very closely, closely and never give up your dreams. Um, stay safe, stay well. See you next time.